Hey Busy Bees, today I have the perfect warming recipe for you. Whether you're sick or you're just cold due to the winter chill in the air, we're gonna be making three simple and quick pho under one hour. I'm gonna show you how to make beef pho, chicken pho, and vegetarian pho using shortcuts that do not compromise the authentic flavor of pho. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love pho, and also please don't forget to subscribe below for more delicious, easy recipes, and we'll go ahead and get started with the most popular Vietnamese pho recipe, the beef pho, also known as pho ba. First, I'll start by peeling and cutting my onion in half. Then I'll slice my ginger in half lengthwise, place them on a baking sheet, I'll flip them over skin side up, and I'll broil them for about 15 minutes until they're nice and charred. Perfect! You want burnt marks like this, on both sides. For the spices, I'm going to be using one black cardamom pod, two star anise, four cloves, about two inches of rock sugar, and one piece of cinnamon bark. Rock sugar, as well as all the other spices, can be found at any Asian supermarket. I'm using rock sugar here because it's a lot milder than regular cane sugar. If you can't find this, you can substitute for one tablespoon of light brown sugar. Okay, now in a medium saucepan on high heat, I'm just gonna toast all my spices. The cardamom pod, star anise, cloves, cinnamon stick, they're gonna smell so good. Mix them around so they don't burn. And once they're toasted, I'm gonna put them in my tea strainer just to hold them together. Lock and load. Now I'll place my charred ginger and onion. And here's my hat. Bone broth can take hours upon hours to cook. My mom usually reserves a whole day just to make a big vat of pho, but who has time to do that? So today I'm gonna use this beef bone broth that's already cooked up that I got at Whole Foods and it has delicious, rich beef flavor. This one's made from organic grass-fed beef bones. Look how gelatinous it is. I'll just pour it into my pot, and then I'll add in an equal amount of water, which is about three cups. Then to round out the flavor, I'm adding in my rock sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of fish sauce. I'll mix it all together and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Bone broth has really made a comeback in recent years, and you can find it at any specialty grocery store. It's perfect for pho. 10 minutes into simmering, I'm gonna remove our tea strainer and our cinnamon bark. I don't wanna infuse too much flavor in here. This is just right. Now, let's talk about the noodles. I have fresh pho, which is called ban pho tui, thin dried rice noodles, and fat dried rice noodles. I like the fresh kind because they're chewy and they just taste more fresh. We're gonna be using the fresh noodles in all three pho's today. But I wanna show you the texture of the thin ones. This kind is used in a lot of Vietnamese restaurants and you just cook it according to the package direction. And here's the thick noodle. It's similar in size to our fresh noodles, but not as good. And now let's talk about the accoutrements, AKA the toppings. Here I have bean sprouts, Thai basil, and chunks of limes. Those are my favorite ones to use, but a lot of restaurants also serve it with jalapenos or those long cilantro, also called culantros or Mexican cilantro, or in Vietnamese, ngò gai, but I don't really like those, so I'm just using these three today. For the dipping sauce, we also have hoisin, and sriracha, this is my favorite kind, ninja squirrel. In a pot of boiling water, I'm just gonna quickly blanch my rice noodles just to zhuzh it up a little bit. Once the noodle starts to separate from each other, I'll just remove it from heat and drain. Now that we have all of our ingredients ready, let's prepare our pho bowl to serve. Now I'll place my fresh noodles in a bowl, line it with some thinly sliced ribeye, Top it with my mixture of thinly sliced onions, green onions, and cilantro. Then I'll ladle in my piping hot beef pho broth. The hot broth is gonna cook my meat to a perfect medium rare. Mmm. My bowl is ready to enjoy, so I'm gonna add in my bean sprouts, 
Thai basil, a squeeze of lime, and a little bit of sriracha and hoisin sauce. Mix it around and let's give it a try. It smells so good, you guys. You guys, that was so good. The beef was perfectly tender. I really recommend using a cut of beef with a little bit of marbling in there because that really helps. And then the broth was perfectly beefy and complex with so much flavor. You have to try this one. All right, now moving on to our next one, the chicken pho, also known as pho ga. The spices for the chicken pho are half a stick of cinnamon bark, one small slice of licorice root, and a chunk of rock sugar. In my pot, I'm gonna to toast up my spices again, add in a charred onion, my ginger, two chicken thighs, and then I'll pour in my organic chicken bone broth, along with an equal amount of water. Then I'll throw in my rock sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of fish sauce, and I'll let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Since I threw in raw chicken here, it has a lot of crud. So I'll just skim it out. And then 10 minutes in, I'm gonna remove my cinnamon bark and my licorice root. I'll let it continue to cook for 20 more minutes and then I'll remove my chicken and chop it up. You can also shred this, but I like the texture of chopped chicken and pho. All right, time to serve. Again, our fresh noodles, piping hot some chicken pieces, I don't like too much, my onion cilantro garnish, and our piping hot chicken broth. If you notice here, the color of our chicken pho broth is much lighter than our beef pho broth. The reason for this is because chicken pho is a lot lighter and cleaner than beef pho. Think of chicken noodle soup. It's healing without having too much heavy flavor. I love eating chicken pho when I'm sick. All right, I'll add some bean sprouts, Thai basil, of course some sriracha and hoisin sauce, a squeeze of lime because I like it sour, and mix it around. Some chicken, some noodles. Mmm. All right, now let's give it a try. The chicken pho is so flavorful and delicious. You get a hint of that licorice and cinnamon flavor, but not overpoweringly so. It's perfectly balanced. Chicken pho is my personal favorite. Okay, now for our last recipe, and for you vegans or vegetarians out there, I didn't forget about you. We're gonna make vegetarian pho, AKA pho chai. We'll start the same way we did with our beef pho. I'm adding in my spices and toasting them up. Move them around, and then I'll add the small spices to my tea strainer. Close it up, lock it, load it. I'll add my charred onion and ginger, and then I just have some organic vegetable broth that I'll pour in. I'll add two cups of water, making a total of six cups of broth here. Add some rock sugar and one teaspoon of kosher salt. I'll let it boil for 10 minutes, and then again, I'll remove my cinnamon bark and my spice packet. I'll let the broth cook for another 20 minutes to really develop the flavors. Then right before serving, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of sliced carrots, a quarter cup of broccoli florets, and some bok choy that I'll just blanch for two minutes. Now it's serving time. In my bowl, I'm adding some piping hot fresh noodles, Add my onion and cilantro garnish. Layer in some sliced tofu. Enoki mushrooms for texture. I'll ladle in my bok choy, my vegetables. And some broth. This is a perfect meal for those days when I just don't want to eat meat. Now I'll add in some hoisin sauce and sriracha. More bean sprouts. Thai basil. Mix it around, and let's give it a try. Healthy. Even though this 
this is vegetarian slash vegan, the flavor is still super complex and well balanced. I really love the crunch from the vegetables too. I feel good eating this. I don't know about you guys, but I get hungry like an hour after I eat pho. So good thing I made three bowls. Each of these recipes makes four servings, so eat away. Which recipe would you try first? Comment below, and I hope you like this pho hack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!